She is a global icon. Now Angelina Jolie has told the world she's had a double mastectomy. She says her husband Brad Pitt was there for every minute of the surgery. Angelina Jolie inherited a mutated gene known as BRCA1. Doctors said it gave her an 87% risk of breast cancer, the disease which killed her mother, and a 50% chance of ovarian cancer. I wanted to write this to tell other women that the decision to have a mastectomy was not easy, but it is one I'm very happy that I made. I can tell my children that they don't need to fear they will lose me to breast cancer. I do not feel any less of a woman. I feel empowered that I made a strong choice that in no way diminishes my femininity. This is my mum here. Wendy Helliwell also carries a faulty BRCA1 gene. And like Angelina Jolie, her mother died of breast cancer. So she opted for a double mastectomy and later her ovaries were removed. There's nothing negative about getting the surgery. Um, I think emotionally dealing with knowing you have the gene is, is quite difficult for a short period of time. But I think once you've got the decisions in your head, you're, you're on the right road. A woman's lifetime risk of getting breast cancer is one in eight. Most cases will occur after the age of 50. Just one in 20 is due to a genetic factor. Survival rates have improved dramatically. Two out of three women will live at least 20 years after diagnosis. Women with a strong family history of breast cancer are offered a genetic test that can reveal if they're among the one in 700 who carry a faulty BRCA gene. Sometimes, as occurred with Angelina Jolie, unfortunately it turns out they have got that mutation uh, and therefore they're faced with uh, difficult options. But just as often, we can show that they haven't inherited it and therefore, despite that strong family history, they personally aren't at increased risk of cancer and neither are their children. Angelina Jolie has made it clear she's likely to have her ovaries removed in years to come. She says she hopes more women at risk of cancer will get gene tested so they too can make informed decisions. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.